Hey folks, it's Hari Swaminathan. It's still uh, Wednesday, April 3rd, 6.48 p.m. I wanted to just uh, do a recap and look at some trades for tomorrow as well as uh, give a little, uh, a little insight into uh, uh, how these things are working here as far as the algorithms are concerned. Uh, so the first thing we do, of course, now today, you know, we closed uh, all these uh, trades here, Adobe and Microsoft, and those were good trades. And Shopify has also recovered quite a bit. We're just down a little bit here. And so, and uh, here the Visa trade is up about $107, not a whole lot. Uh, Visa generally moves very steadily. And so uh, we can expect, uh, you know, if it goes up to even 160 over the next uh, few days, uh, this can become a nice trade here. And uh, so what I wanted to do was just take a look at this market watch. Now, uh, what's going on is uh, the market was bullish. And so you can see uh, the way to understand this is you want to see when stocks are coming into the very bullish. And if you want to catch it a little ahead of time, you can even look at stocks when they move into bullish and then to very bullish. But that might be a little bit of a stretch here. But so let me bring yesterday's video here and I want to do sort of a comparison. Okay, so this is yesterday's video where uh, we highlighted uh, the, uh, you know, the visa trade. Okay, so here we are. So yesterday, as you can see on the swing trades column, just look at the swing trades column. We have about maybe 10 or 12 or so. Now today, as you can see on this other one, we have, uh, you know, 20 or maybe a little more than that. So many stocks have come into the bullish stage. And so if we, if we do a comparison here, we can see that today Netflix is, uh, you know, has just entered into the very bullish. Uh, the advanced micro devices has just entered into very bullish. And uh, there is a couple of others also, even Facebook, I believe, was not there yesterday and Facebook has entered into the very bullish. So these are some candidates that we can look at for immediate trades. So having said that, then, you know, that's really the way to look at these things is, okay, when is the state changing? Because once the state changes, that's where the opportunities are. So you could catch the change of state from neutral to bullish or bullish to very bullish. I prefer to wait to, for bullish to very bullish. But if you wanted to jump a little bit ahead of time, you can even jump when uh, jump into the trade when it moves from neutral to bullish. That way you'll be catching a trade. Uh, okay, we have Facebook here. That way you'll be catching a trade where it goes, maybe, you know, perhaps over here before it makes a big move. However, uh, you know, I think the safer thing to do is let it go into very bullish. That's when all the parameters, the price, action, the exponential moving average, the simple moving average, the momentum, as well as money flow, which includes volume, all of those uh, are all synced up in the in the very bullish, uh, you know, segment there. So here we are. So we have a couple of good trades for tomorrow. Facebook, first one. Uh, yesterday, Facebook had some great uh, news around it. Uh, some analysts said that uh, the new feature on Instagram could generate billions of dollars over the next year or two or so, whatever. And so Facebook jumped almost $5. Obviously, that was a big jump. And so today, Facebook has taken a little bit of a, uh, dip down. However, you can see that Facebook was not in very bullish yesterday and it has moved into very bullish today. So uh, notwithstanding this pullback here, all the other internals are suggesting that Facebook is going to be very bullish, at least, uh, you know, in the medium term here. So Facebook is one uh, uh, one opportunity. And then we have Netflix. So Netflix also, as you can see here, I, I believe uh, it's because this five period uh, now crossed, clearly crossed over the 20 today. And that's what put it into the very bullish segment here. And so uh, these are two trades that we can take. Uh, and there are others also, but I'm saying I'm just picking out the two best ones here. And so if you ask me, because Facebook has just, uh, you know, pulled back quite a bit. And we've, you know, we've uh, basically, uh, we've uh, uh, cut down on our trades uh, in the sense we are closing them and we're closing them pretty well. So if you go here and let's look at Facebook, and I would say uh, now Facebook might be reporting earnings sometimes because I, I don't see an earnings thing here. Let's see when was the last earnings was here, which is 117. And therefore, the earnings might be coming up on uh, 417, approximately 417. OK, so here we'll be able to see from a bump up in the volatility. So here we go. This is the series that's going to be impacted 37 percent volatility. So if you wanted to go into that series itself, it's not a bad idea because the volatility is going to get pumped up and therefore any time decay will be negated by the increase in volatility. So that's not a bad move at all to go there. And so Facebook is at 173 and I would say uh, we can go to a 37 delta, which would be 180 call. We can do the 180 call and uh, five contracts there. 
So I would be putting uh, putting this trade here tomorrow. So it's a uh, five contracts, 26th April, 180 call. Okay. Now let's look at Netflix also and see what the deal is. Netflix. Let me take out all this here. Uh, Netflix also moved into very bullish, but now Netflix. I uh, if you see the charts, I'm sorry. This is Netflix here. We did not have Facebook on these charts. Let's do Facebook. Okay, Facebook was right here, and it it reported on 130, and so the next one would be uh, somewhere around uh, you know 430, and so that and and so that's this one right here. Well, this is Netflix again. Let me go back. So these are the option series and, and clearly it's going to be this 26th April. So instead of 130, maybe they're reporting on the uh, 25th of April or so. But clearly this 37 percentile is, uh, uh, you know, is, is what the earnings impact is going to be. Uh, and therefore, this, uh, this trade still looks good. So let's go to Netflix now. And what I want to do is see if uh, uh, we can do a similar analysis here. And let me put Netflix chart as well over here. And Netflix also reported around 117, and so we can expect uh, somewhere near one, th you know, one, uh, uh, 117, 118. You can see the 18th April is 55 percent. 18th April is 55 percent, and so in anticipation, this thing is going to be moving there. And plus, most importantly, uh, what we are looking at is that the time decay element uh, will be negated by uh, the increase in implied volatility. Okay. So here we are, Netflix is at 369 and I would say you can go to the 380, which is uh, actually the 382 or even the 385, uh, which is 38 Delta. And uh, because these options are slightly expensive, I wouldn't want to go for five contracts. I would just go for three. And uh, this would be the 385 call on 18th April. In fact, I might just go two here because we might want to keep uh, some gunpowder to either double down or add one more contract, things like that uh, to this position. So these are the two trades I have for tomorrow. To join the Swing Signal service, please go to this bit.ly link, bit.ly, bit.ly slash swing25, and you can get a 25% off on this service now. Thank you.